Hey everyone, welcome back to Learn English. I hope you guys are doing good and staying safe. So thank you, thank you so much for all the love and support because we have crossed this milestone of fifty thousand subscribers. It wasn't possible without your support. So thank you so much, and I hope you have watched my previous video related to remote companies for the data engineers. If not, then definitely check that video. But in today's exciting video, we will be talking about everything about data engineers in dominating consulting companies in the world. First is McKinsey and Company, second is Deloitte, third is KPMG, and fourth is ENY. So in today's video, I will provide all the information. related to different kind of job profiles related to data engineer in these companies and also required and important skill sets third annual ctc compensation and the information about foreign travel in these companies and i'm pretty sure that many of you don't know like in the early stages of my data engineering career i worked for service based company and i also worked for consulting firm that was mckinsey and company so in today's video you will also get reviews from my side related to mckinsey and company their culture their work culture environment and foreign travel so cracking service based company or any consult Form for the data engineering role would be definitely definitely easy in comparison to cracking a uh, tech giants, good product based companies, startups because of the their difficulty level of interviews. So even if you are little bit confident and have done decent level of preparation, then you can definitely crack these companies and it will be a great starting point for you as a data engineer. And after spending couple of years in these companies, after getting some kind of practical experience, then you will be really really confident enough to crack. any of the tech giants good product based companies and some really great startups with mind blowing ctc and one suggestion for you all based on my experience with consulting firm so anybody who want to enhance their technical skills along with a good exposure of different different data domains then working in consulting firm should be your first priority because in consulting firm you will be working for different different clients and that's how you will get a really really good exposure of interacting with clients improving your soft skills working on different data domains like healthcare banking finance telecom many other and enhancing your technical skills as well by working on different kind of use cases so make sure to watch this video till the very end i will give you best of the best information related to job profiles skills compensation foreign travel in these companies and you can also help me to spread this information to all aspiring data engineers by liking this video in really big numbers and if you are liking such type of content on my channel then make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the notification icon and any of you who are working in these companies please make sure to provide your experience in the comment section and let's work for any different service based company or consulting firm that information will be also really really helpful and guys whenever you have asked me that what is the best way to become the best data engineers and also crack good product based companies then i have always suggested this that you need to work on some really really good real world projects and that is why this amazing platform project pro came into the picture which is providing the gold mine of hundreds completely end to end solved data engineering related project so i will give you the real quick demo of project pro platform so that you can make up your mind and also they are giving the best deals to all the viewers who are watching my video right now you can use the link which is in the description also this coupon code and you will get some exclusive offers yes guys project pro is that kind of platform which is one stop solution for you and they are specifically working in the big data domain for the data engineering related projects data science machine learning engineering so these real world projects are actually designed by the top notch engineers working in the top tech firms like netflix walmart microsoft uber amazon and whatever projects they have covered so far for data engineering and data science those are completely solved end to end code implementation plus testing documentation and help through the guided video they are providing direct one to one mentorship with those industry experts who actually developed these projects and recently they have launched a very very brand new feature named as the learning path which can be customized based on your preference let's say i want to go into this big data part as soon as i'll click here these options will be available for me so if you are a fresher and if you already work in the big data you will need to learn some different things as a fresher i need to learn some different things so i can provide all these details here and based on that customization i will be getting proper list of those real world projects which i actually need to learn i want to become a data engineer let's pick it here and after that i can provide what all things i already know and after that i can mention what all things i want to learn so here you can see this custom learning path based on my requirements has been generated for me and now step by step i need to just progress on these projects whatever tech stack has been covered in this one so this is one of the best feature i would say i have provided the link in the description make sure to check this out and work on real world projects so let's talk about mckinsey first and here the job role you can expect that would be data engineer and consultant data engineer so in mckinsey i was actually hired for their vertical which was named as quantum black so i was hired as a consultant data engineer there and for a short duration of time i was working on a telecom project now let's look at the required skill sets so in the required skill sets uh, that would be python java scala in the programming and dsa definitely understanding of linux system linux commands versioning tools like git devops tools hadoop spark would be the base and sql queries definitely very very important 
and RDBMS, NoSQL databases like Oracle, MySQL, Postgres, MongoDB, DynamoDB, Cassandra, data warehousing, data modeling, dashboarding. And for the cloud part, the best thing about these consulting firm is that like among these four companies, definitely you will find some dedicated job profiles related to data engineers like Azure data engineer, AWS data engineer, GCP data engineers. And why? Because these companies are actually working for so many clients and those clients might have different requirements, different kind of tech stack as well to implement and different kind of cloud provider. So even if you are well versed with the AWS, let's say Azure, let's say GCP, then still you have a really, really great chance to crack these companies because you will definitely get that kind of edge. So for interviews, definitely you will get more and more priority. And also software skills will be important. As I said, like your communication part and your positive attitude, how do you interact with people that will be also really, really important part of the data engineering role in these companies. So for McKinsey, the annual CTC can range from 14 lakhs per annum to 18 lakhs per annum. And guys, if you're thinking about consulting firm as an entry level fresher, then definitely you need to compromise on the compensation part because these companies don't give that much of CTC in comparison to product based companies, tech giants or startups. And also for their CTC part, they have just two three components they will be giving everything as a base plus some sort of variable 10 12 percent performance bonus or variable bonus plus your extra benefits insurance medical insurance and other stuff but nothing related to esops rsus or stocks and talking about the foreign travel yes this was the most exciting part and i love this thing in the mckinsey and even for the culture part right that was really really amazing team was really good work-life balance was fantastic and the royalty right and i must say i can't imagine that kind of royal life in any of the other companies like getting so many amazing benefits latest iphone free food some boombastic parties and business class travel in flights when you will be visiting your client locations across the globe and five star hotel stay like the duration of time you will be staying there you will be staying in five star hotel I definitely miss those days that was truly amazing and my experience at McKinsey was too good really enjoyed my journey there now let's talk about the Deloitte so here the job role you will be getting consultant data engineer and again based on the cloud platform they will be having specific job profiles like Azure data engineer mostly you will be using Azure component here Azure Azure data bricks and other related big data services in Azure and AWS data engineer like working with the AWS services building pipelines using that and same goes with the GCP data engineer now talking about the required skill sets like the common one so python scala dsa would be the first thing definitely for sure hadoop spark hive etl uh, processing using pyspark so this will be in the big data ecosystem sql queries common and very important uh, relational databases like oracle ms sql uh, mysql postgres no sql dbs like mongodb dynamo cassandra data warehousing data modeling dashboarding common thing again and cloud AWS as or GCP soft skills communication client interaction will be the common like in these consulting firms annual CTC part so for Deloitte so you can expect that overall CTC ranging from 10 lakhs per annum to 12.5 lakhs per annum and same thing the base component plus some variable part no ESOPs nothing else now talking about the foreign travel here yes there will be short term project base as well like for weeks or month long term transfer as well let's say any kind of client client project which will have a years of contract including the development plus support then definitely uh, you can take a transfer to that location as well or like your company will be actually willing to shift you there because you can work with the client closely now talking about the kpmg so here in kpmg the role will be consulting data engineer azure data engineer aws gcp data engineer talking about the required skill sets so that would be python java scala dsa and in big data ecosystem hadoop Spark, Hive, ETL using PySpark, SQL queries, relational databases, no SQL databases, data warehousing, modeling, dashboarding, and Snowflake uh, as a data warehousing service they are using. So that's why if you have any experience with that, it will be treated as a plus. And for the cloud providers, AWS, Azure, GCP, soft skills, communication, and client interaction. In KPMG, the annual CTC can range from 11 lakhs per annum to 15 lakhs per annum, you including your base plus some variable. Foreign travel, yes, short term project based, nothing much on the like long term transfer uh, as such kind of thing in KPMG. And now I will talk about the last one, Ernst and Young. And before talking about this one, again, I repeat any of you are watching this video and had any past interview experience for these type of roles in these companies, make sure to put your experience in the comment section. And even if you think, right, any information is incomplete, feel free to provide your inputs in the comment section so that we can provide crisp and complete information to the audience. And for the Ernst and Young, the job role will be data engineer, uh, mostly 
Ernst and Young, they are working with these two cloud providers or the solutions they have built for their different clients, majorly on the Azure and AWS. And even among Azure and AWS, their main and prime focus on the Azure. So anybody who has experience with these cloud platforms will definitely get a plus in the interviews. And the another job profile is staff cloud engineer, uh, Azure, AWS again, and cloud data engineer job profile. Now talking about the required skill sets. So here, Python, Java, Scala, programming and the DSA will be again important. Apache Spark, Hadoop, Hive, Kafka in the big data ecosystem, understanding of Linux commands, Git and CI CD tools like Jenkins, uh, relational database systems, no SQLs like MongoDB, Cassandra, SQL query is important one. And for the AWS, at least uh, you should know these kind of typical big data related services or the common services in AWS like S3, EC2, Redshift, Glue, EMR, DynamoDB, Lambda, quick site for the dashboarding. And here in Azure, Azure Data Lake, Azure Data Bricks, Spark, Spark Streaming, uh, Data Warehousing, Data Modeling, Dashboarding, Soft Skills like Communication and Client Interaction. Now talking about the annual CTC, so here it will be 12 LPA to 14 LPA for ENY and that will again include your base plus some variable part and foreign travel in ENY, yes, that will be again for the short term project base. So that's what I had for you guys in this video. I hope you would have liked this information related to data engineering profile in consulting firms. If yes, then make sure to like this video in really, really big numbers so that this information can reach to our fellow data engineers and you can provide your meaningful suggestions in the comment section, like what kind of next video you are expecting from my side, what kind of companies I should pick and create a detailed video like this, the job profile, CTC required skill sets. So provide these kind of inputs in the comment section. And also if you're watching any of my video for the very first time, then make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the notification icon. I will see you guys in the next week with another amazing video. Till then, just stay safe, stay home, take care of yourself and your family too.